No one in history has built data centers this fast. OpenAI, Oracle, and NVIDIA are rewriting the playbook on how quickly trillion dollar infrastructure gets deployed. The flagship Stargate site in Abilene, Texas, one building is already live and another is nearly finished, and the campus is scaling toward a gigawatt of power. That's enough power to run 750,000 US homes, and that's just the first location. In the next three years, OpenAI and its partners will pour more than 400 billion into five more mega sites across Texas, New Mexico, Ohio, and the Midwest. Together, they're targeting nearly seven gigawatts of compute capacity, and they say they'll hit 10 gigawatts by the end of 2020. 25. So who are the key players making this possible? We have OpenAI. They're the driving force committing hundreds of billions to secure compute power. Now I want to reiterate, this is my third time saying this. At this point, OpenAI is pretty much single-handedly propping up this stock market. While that's great, that's a huge concentration risk red flag here to be aware of. Then we have Oracle. They are handling leasing, building, and funding these data centers with its cloud backbone, and their stock just had a huge pop. And then of course we have NVIDIA. They're not just selling GPUs, but now investing directly into the build out after signing a last minute deal with OpenAI on Monday, ensuring its chips power the next wave. And then we have Microsoft providing Azure credits and long-term backing since 2019 to OpenAI. And then we have CoreWeave, another crucial partner in scaling capacity. And don't forget SoftBank helping finance this whole project. The pace is unprecedented. As OpenAI CFO Sarah Fryer put it, no one in history of man has built data centers this fast. Critics say it's circular funding, suppliers like NVIDIA investing in projects that they're going to profit from anyways. But history shows every tech boom required overbuilding to pay off. It's also worth noting that a very similar scenario happened before the dot-com bubble. In 1999, vendor financing reached extreme levels with the booming telecom and internet sectors as companies like Cisco, Lucent, and Nortel offered generous and risky loans to customers to secure sales. These aggressive financing terms, sometimes extending to more than the value of the equipment, were part of a global craze to lock in business, but they led to massive financial losses and write-offs when the bubble burst and customers failed to pay. I personally think what we're seeing today is different and that this infrastructure we are seeing built will indeed be used, but I do want to give full context here. Whether this becomes the backbone of America's AI economy or another bubble, one thing's clear, the shovels are already in the ground and the AI race is on. If you have not joined the trading discord yet, go do it today right after this video. The link is in my bio. If it doesn't work, just DM me, but there is over 25,000 traders in there and it is the perfect place to talk about the stock market and strategy. This is not financial advice. I just want to share the update on the Stargate project. Always do your own research before investing.